we have a mental health crisis in this country, that there are record levels of depression, anxiety, uh, even suicide and self-harm. Uh, and one of the huge learnings from your book was that there was a surge in depression and anxiety among young people that's hand in hand with widespread smartphone adoption and the use of social media. There, there really is a mental health crisis, and I, I don't think that's an overstatement at at all. For adolescents, for young adults, we see these really striking increases in depression, in anxiety, uh, in unhappiness, um, loneliness, and those have been either unchanged or actually improving for a while. Then about. 2011 or 2012, they start to rise in these very, very steep patterns. And it's not just survey data. It's not just people saying, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not happy. Um, you know, I, I feel useless or, or like I don't enjoy life. They're saying that, but it also shows up in behavior. So it's not just about self reports. Emergency room admissions for self harm behaviors have skyrocketed. Um, same thing, ER visits for thinking about suicide or attempting suicide for teenagers have gone way up. And most tragic of all, the actual suicide rate um, has doubled or even tripled um, for young people since 2010. So you look at all of that data, um, it's so consistent. The the changes are, are so large. The next question you have to try to answer is why, what happened? Um, that, that that might explain you know why this is going on, and when I first started to see these trends, I had absolutely no idea what the cause could be. It was a real mystery. It was actually misaligned with economic trends because that period from 2011 to the, the latest data we have is 2018. That was a period of economic expansion. Things were doing uh, things were going fairly well um, in in the economy, at least in terms of unemployment and so on. Um, so it actually was misaligned with that. And it was hard to think of any other event that happened around that time. It kept going in the same direction, especially something that ha had a big effect on people's lives. But then one day I stumbled across a poll from the Pew Center for Research that showed the end of 2012 was the first time that the majority of Americans owned smartphones. And that's when I started to realize maybe that might have something to do with it. 